What's up, guys? NBA Talk, second day of 2018, January 2nd, Tuesday, basketball for you. We got two games to talk about. So we're going to start things off immediately with the most important one. That is the Cavaliers versus the Portland Trailblazers, uh, Cavaliers at home. The big thing about this game, why it was so important, is the return of Isaiah Thomas, IT. We've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Ever, ever since the season started, even before that, we're like, let's see how this team gels with Isaiah Thomas coming to the fold ever since the trade with Kyrie Irving. We know what Kyrie Irving is doing in Celtics uniform, but we don't know what IT can do in a Cavaliers uniform with this new squad because the squad has been doing well. They've been up and down, but... This this adds new things to the Cavaliers, and this might this might be the missing element to the Cavaliers becoming even better, becoming even an elite team. Not not to say really that they're not elite. It's just that they have been bad in the start of the season. They picked things up significantly, but they have been going up and down again uh, this last ten games or so. But Tonight, it really showed something interesting is going to go down for this Cavaliers team moving forward for 2018. Uh, Cavaliers won this game, unfortunately, over my my Portland Trailblazers. This is my Western Conference team for the last couple of years, but they have been a complete disappointment. I mean, they're better than most, like the Grizzlies, um, the uh, Clippers, who have been playoff teams but it's, this is a team that's just not going to go anywhere in the playoffs I can see that they just don't have the depth and it showed tonight like they don't have the personnel they don't have the players that can match up to the depth of a Cavaliers team who have a bench like a real bench and it showed off t tonight with Isaiah Thomas coming off the bench it, it, it was it's it was a clear showing of the class between the two teams. And the Cavaliers showed it. They won the game 127 to 110. It was close. Like in the first half, it was very, very close uh, until the Cavaliers took over in the second half, basically just turned it up a notch in their points. Isaiah Thomas, in 17 minutes, well, 19 minutes, played absolutely well. Excellent, actually. His percentage was very, very good. He took a lot of three-pointers and missed a couple of them. But overall, his percentage, his field goal percentage is good. Very, very good. Actually, 50% from the field. Um, he did exactly what I believe that the Cavaliers want him to do. As been being like a spread point guard, he could um, spread the floor. He could penetrate the... Um, uh, the paint, uh, worked the pick and roll is pretty good. He did all those things. He definitely did all those things and more. Um, he put up a great number of points, more than I expected from Isaiah Thomas. And we might end up seeing him in the starting lineup pretty soon. Well, he won't play against Boston, which they will play next in the Garden. So we will see Isaiah Thomas return to the Garden, but he won't play. But this is a good start for his season. Very good start. And he gelled well with the bench players, with Dwayne Wade, with LeBron James and company. LeBron James brought it tonight, too. It's just fantastic. So the Cavaliers win this game. Like, like I said, the stats, uh, LeBron James, 24 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, 4 steals, and a block shot. He was 10 for 17 for the field. Excellent. Isaiah Thomas off the bench, 19 minutes, 17 points, 3 assists, 6 for 12 from the field, 3 for 8 from the 3-point range. Uh, he was 2 for 4 from the free throw line. And that's pretty much it for him. Like he, he played very, very well. Minutes restrict, but showed off pretty much what he can do for this team. Dwayne Wade, 15 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists off the bench. He was 6 for 11. Kyle Korver, 9 points, made two three-pointers. 
Jeff Green dropped 10 points. He was plus 24 when he was on the court because he played very good defense. And he passed the ball pretty good. Five assists for him, four rebounds, two steals. He was very good off the bench. And then back to the starting lineup, you have Crowder with 17 points. He got a lot of production from him. Four three-pointers, two assists, two steals, two rebounds. And you got Kevin Love with 19 points, seven rebounds. He also made four three-pointers. He was five for seven from the field. Excellent work. Um, and then you have J.R. Smith with six points. Not really going to talk about him. Um, the team shot 51% from the field, 40% from the three-point range, which is excellent. 40 rebounds, 28 assists, 11 steals, and only 10 turnovers. Very good debut for Isaiah Thomas. I'm impressed with that. But, of course, this is the first game. We'll see what happens in the future. He won't play next game against Boston, which would have been a very good game if Isaiah Thomas was in there. But we're going to have to wait until later. Because I was looking forward to see Isaiah Thomas versus Kyrie Irving. That would be a good matchup. Um, but we're going to have to wait until next time. Maybe they'll see each other in the... Um, I think maybe they'll face each other a little bit later in the season or in the playoffs, maybe. We'll see. Um, the Trailblazers. Uh, Damian Litter, 25 points, 6 assists. He made 6 three-pointers. He was 8, eight for 15 from the field. Excellent work from him, but he don't got much help. Uh, C.J. McCollum gave, gave him something. 19 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. He's always consistent. He's their best, second-best guy. Um, Evan Turner gave you something, too. 15 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, you got Norick, which somehow, some way, the Cavaliers have a hate for him because they've been bumping on him. Stuff like that. Like, it's been barking. Like, LeBron James was barking. A couple play. I think Crowder was barking at him, too. Like, he got on their nerves with his body. Just, like, banging on LeBron James and stuff. 23 points for Nurik. Um, he also picked up seven rebounds, four assists, two steals. He was 10 for 12 from the field. And got Aminu, one for seven from the field. Only five points. Nine rebounds, two assists, and a steal. And that's pretty much it. The bench is just lifeless. Like, there's nobody in there that can help you out. They, they got nobody. They need some veteran players coming off the bench. Straight up. Um, the team shot 46% still from the field. 40% from the three-point range, just like the Cavaliers. Picked up 43 rebounds. Put up 25 assists. 15 turnovers. The difference. They turned the ball over too much. So, that's it. Cavaliers 25 and 12, 15 and 4 at home. While the Blazers are 19 and 18. Not looking good, man. So, that's it. We see Isaiah Thomas debut. Pretty good. Peace.